All right, great. And I think we're good. All right, very good. So for today, like I said, for equipment, all we need is a small rag. Um, if you need a towel to kind of dry off sweat, um, that's okay too, but I don't think it's gonna be that excessive. Um, of course, your water, make sure you have some water. And I would have a chair because we're gonna be doing our ABCs um, one foot at a time and doing some footwork with that. So to start off, again, we're going with our typical warm up. We're going to do a little bit more for our legs since we're working out our legs a little bit more. And so about five to eight rotations. You guys continue. Yeah. And we'll have more people logging in. So if you see me going towards the computers because I'm trying to mute them. Can I switch directions? Let's grab our head on the left side. Let that arm wait. Stretch out that left leg, I mean, left neck. All right, let's switch. And then just a quick question, if you guys that um, are requesting the videos, um, if you don't mind answering, when do you guys typically do the workouts, like later in the day after I send the video or a different day? I'm just curious. I tend to do it, well, this is gonna be the first time that I'm gonna um, do it without you. Okay. But um, the, I wanna do it um, whenever I get a chance throughout the day. And that might be around six or seven. Okay, great. Let's grab our head um, from the back area and drop that weight forward. Yeah, YouTube allows me to see um, sometimes, not who watches the video, but um, when the video has been watched. And I've seen a couple of times that someone's been doing the workout at five in the morning which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I was just curious and I think some of you folks might do them on the weekends. That's okay too. All right, let's do some shoulder rotations. So let's bring shoulder shrugs kind of, let's do about eight circular motions. Let's continue doing that. Let me check with you. All right, getting some feedback. Great, let's reverse. Just do some arm circles. We're going through the windmills today. Just do these. I'm going to focus a little bit more on the lower body. Okay. Right, reverse. All right, very good. Let's do some just arm stretches right here. Stretch up that shoulder, bring that right arm across. Hi, Julio, I have a question. Sure. When you, when you do the arm circles, um, I notice that there's different muscles, like if your palms are up or facing front or down, do you like do them all, all directions or? That's good. Um, as far as my, my palms are typically facing down, so I could see, yeah, I, I do notice the difference there. If I'm facing up, I do feel it more in the inside part by the bicep. If I'm facing down, I feel it more in the hind part. So yeah, so maybe that could be a variation we try next time. So yeah, thanks for that. I didn't really consider that, but it does make a little bit of difference. Maybe instead of doing like 20 seconds um, of arm circles, we could do maybe 10 seconds of each. So yeah, so yeah, we'll try that next time, Leah. Thank you. Okay, thank so you. I just... Try. I was just experimenting yeah. and I noticed that. So thank you. Yeah, I just noticed it until you mentioned it. 
So let's actually, so everyone can try that. Let's have our, our palms facing up and let's do the arm circles. So you might feel, you know, instead of having your arms getting tired on the back part, you might start feeling fatigue a little bit more on that front bicep reverse. It actually seems a little bit more challenging. All right, very good. Let me make a note of that real quick, so. something every day. All right, so let's have our, our martial arts tense here, and then let's start rotating left to right. Remember, start off slowly, but we really want that range of motion, so make sure there he is, we're rotating more and more. Of course, don't hurt yourself, avoid pain. All right, very good. All right, my arms are still tired just by lifting them. I could feel that. Um, okay, so we're gonna do our standing ab circles. So again, if you guys remember these, same stance, cut across to the left side, straight back, rotate, arch back. Let's do five on each side. You guys hear a random sound? Um, it's on my my belly. It's our dog is sleeping right next to the bed right here, so it's him snoring. Just in case you guys hear a random noise. Let's do a couple more. Very really good. So this is where we're gonna do a little bit more for our legs. So our hips and our legs. So let's start with some giant um, hula hoops. So really get that range of motion. So, so I'm thinking at the end of every class, um, I'm going to, like I mentioned, show a, a video of some type of, um, you know, health benefit um, material. Let's switch directions. Um, so I think today I have one on glucosamine, which is a supplement that, you know, typically supplements aren't FDA approved. So herbal supplements aren't. But, um, you know, it's just kind of, take with a grain of salt if you're wishing to try or not. Um, and again, this isn't videos that you guys have to take, but it's something that, you know, if, um, if you wanna try over the counter um, supplements like vitamin C's, vitamin D3, iron, calcium, all these things are to take with a grain of salt, but um, you know, some things do have benefits. So we'll do a little short videos like that at the end of the class. All right, very good. All right, let's do some hip openers. So again, this is gonna require a little bit of balance. So if you guys do need a chair or a wall, make sure you're holding on to. But we're gonna get on one leg, that right leg up in front of us, and then out without rotating the hips. And then drop that. And then the left leg down. And let's continue. So let's do six on each leg. Welcome. Don't be shy. You guys could have your cameras on. Two more on each side. Last one. All right, very good. We're just gonna do some um, some leg kicks right here. So opposite arm to opposite ankle. So just 
kind of reaching here, little straight leg march. So if you start off low, that's fine. As we progress in the warm up, we'll start swinging a little bit more. All right, let's kind of do the heel to glute here. Just kind of bring that heel to your glute. Again, this will be, tomorrow we have cardio and core at nine in the morning. And this is typically one of the movements that we do to start off our sets. All right, let's go up to a wall. We're gonna do some leg swings. Going. So let's do again more like a swing instead of a kick. Let's just rotate out here. Steering. Let's do about 12. Okay, let's switch legs. Left leg. And then you just feel that leg opening up a little bit more. Very good. All right, let's do some leg swings across our body. So across our midline. So let's face that wall, that object that's keeping us upright. Let's just swing across. All right, very good. Let's switch legs, left leg. I'm gonna stop there just because my back does get irritated with that, but you guys could continue. Maybe stretch more on that left hip. All right, very good. All right, let's do, we're gonna do one of the stretches that we did, I believe on Monday. So we're gonna do the lunge. Do you guys remember that? The lunge stretch. So let's get on our knee. I might have done this yesterday, I don't remember. It's like we're doing a lunge, and then let's lean forward, okay? So that stretch and that inner groin. And if you wanna work on that balance, you could elevate your arms. And if you wanna work on it a little bit more, you could close those eyes, okay? While we're still leaning forward. Try lifting those arms above our heads. So you're leaning forward, stretching out that groin. Let's come back up straight, bring those arms down, switch sides. All right, now right knees up, elevated. Let's lean forward, arms out. Bring those arms over our head while leaning forward. Eyes. Let's open those eyes, slowly drop those hands. Very good. Open up those hips a little bit. All right. So now we're going to do not a deep squat, but it's going to be like a sumo squat stance. So we're not trying to do the splits, just a wide stance. And then let's just drop our hips. And let's just kind of sit here for a little bit. Just going to rest here. 
make sure our groin is getting stretched out a little bit. So. All right, let's come back up. Stretch up that squat. So this is gonna work on our balance too, the quad stretch. And we'll do this um, in between class, but this is just part of the warm up. So again, just hold right by above the ankle, not by the foot. If you need to hold on to something, go ahead. Okay, let's switch legs. Got left leg now. Bring it back. Let's relax it and shake it out a little bit and do the hamstring stretch, okay? So this one, my feet are maybe six inches apart from each other. Then we're just gonna start sliding our hands down our legs, down our shins, and as far as we can hold. Once you're there, let's hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. Slight bend at the knees. You don't want to knock them out. I have to reach a little bit more. Let's do another leg. Really feel that stretch now. And then slowly, slowly, let's come back up. Right. Very good. That's so, yeah, We have our deep squat stretch. So we did a, the sumo stance. Let's do a deep squat stretch. So again, let's bring our hips, our glutes below our knees. If we're able to, let's keep our head upright. Separating our knees with our elbows. Make sure you're upright, your chin is up, back is as straight up as possible. All right, let's get off our heels. So let's lift off our heels slightly. All right, good, let's drop those heels. And slowly, let's push off with our hands right above our knees and slowly come back up. All right, pretty much, I think I wanna stretch my calves a little bit. So this one, to stretch out our calves, we're gonna do it standing. I need you guys to, if you're gonna stretch out our, so right now my left leg is on behind me. I'm in this stance here, if you guys could see me. So my right leg is, you know, keeping me stable. And I'm pushing down with my heel on my left leg. I'm pushing down on my heel, and I should feel that stretch. Hopefully you guys are feeling that as well. So I'm leaning forward. And then with my left heel, I'm trying to push back and down. You guys feeling that? Debbie, you feeling it? Okay. All right, let's switch. This is a typical running calf stretch. So you might see runners that are red light after they're running, they might be doing this right before a race.
uh, before we start our ankle stretches, uh, we're gonna do some heel walks and some toe walks. So first, let's do some toe walks. So let's find yourself. We're gonna do each one for about 20 seconds. So first, let's get on our toes. I'm barefoot right now too, so I might feel a little bit more. Sometimes the support of the cushioning on your shoes might inhibit some of the, the stretching. So I'm barefoot, so if you guys wanna try barefoot, great. So I'm gonna be walking on my toes with my toes pointed straight. How much if you were walking in high heels? You should really feel that on your calves. Let's do this for about 10 more seconds. You can walk around the room. Really feel that on your calves. All right, let's rest those a little bit. Drop those heels, just walk around like normal. Right now, we're gonna walk with our toes pointed in and heels off the ground. So now we're gonna look like pigeons, okay? So you should feel that more on the outside, lateral side of your legs, of your calves. Feel that more on the outside part. And let's relax those heels, drop them. Right now, that's gonna go, we're gonna be pointing them outwards, okay? Working out different parts of our calves. So again, a lot of the movements we do are for our, our hips and our hamstrings, our glutes, and our quads, but we're gonna hit up our calves a little bit more. All right, drop those. You might feel a little bit fatigued by now. Now we're gonna be doing some heel walks. Okay, so let's get off our toes. And if you feel a little bit imbalanced, let's make sure we're taking tiny steps. So again, just keep those heels on the ground. Let's keep those toes elevated. All right, very good. So let's actually now, all right, so let's grab a chair. And we're going to do our ABCs right now. Very good. So again, let's do one at a time. So we're really engaging. Just focusing on one, we should be able to have a little bit more range of motion. Okay, so let's, I'm just, I usually like lifting, just elevating my leg. And then let's start with our ABCs. Remember, if you hear some popping, some cracking, as long as there's no pain, it's okay. It's just that the joint's getting loose. Make sure there's no swelling as well. Promoting blood flow to our base, which is our feet and our ankles, so. All right, once you're done, let's switch legs. And again, if you guys wanna throw on some music at your house, make this class a little bit more lively, go ahead and do that. Yeah, this left ankle is popping a little bit more than the right one. All right, good. All right, I don't know where you guys are at. I was trying to race Debbie to Z. <laughs> um, so, all right, so let's actually get some water and we're gonna start with some balance movements next. So again, this class kind of the warm up and the exercises kind of um, coexist together. So um, we'll throw some balance and some easier movements together. So we don't need too much of a break in between sets. All right. Okay. So we will start kind of with the Romberg stance. And again, the Romberg stance, nothing too challenging. It's just standing our feet pretty much as close as possible for able to stand safely 
with our feet right next to each other, then let's do that. If we need a little bit of a gap to kind of widen our, our surface area, then that's okay. So let's just stand here, you know, 20, 30 seconds. So this is gonna be a pretty typical, just, you know, beginner stance. So if we're not swaying too much, if we're good here, then, you know, we have a, a nice kind of balance to start off with. Eyes open. My hands to my side. All right, now we're gonna close our eyes, okay? So this is where you could get a little bit challenging. So you might start feeling some swaying now. So let's close those eyes. And I'm swaying a bit. But now our challenge or our goal is to adjust. You might feel those little parts of your legs activating to counter the, the sway of our body. That's where our mind comes into play. We have to be a little bit more insightful of our bodies reacting to, you know, not being, or not feeling safe. It's a little bit uneasy. And let's open those eyes. I'm gonna try to break up these balanced ones um, here and there in between exercises. Okay, so, We'll go with the standing march. So we're just going to go with the standing march. So again, just elevating here. We're not going to do the skip. We're just doing standing march. But our goal here is, you know, if we're starting off here low, we do want to get closest to bringing that knee to the same height as our knee, as our hip. And if we could go a little bit higher, so be it. And if you want to work a little bit on your balance, you could try closing your eyes for a little bit as well while doing this march. All right, now we're going to do butt kickers. So let's just bring our heels towards our glutes. So heel to the same glute, right heel to the right glute. Working out our hamstrings a little bit more. Okay, very good. Okay, we're gonna do wrong break stance. So let's go back to standing in place. Now we're gonna be looking left to right, okay, for 30 seconds. So let's look left, let's look right. Let's continue doing that. Okay, now we're gonna be looking up and down. Okay, so let's look up. This is for about 20 seconds as well. All right, and now let's grab that towel, that little rag that I asked you guys to get. And let's just fold it, you know, maybe a few times, a couple times. So again, we just want to make an uneven base for our feet. It's uneven, but still safe. I don't want you guys to, you know, make like a mountain and then feel like you're going to tip over. So just a little uneven, you know, part of my feet are kind of outside of the towel. So it's not even throughout. So Romberg stands here. And if you want to try with your eyes closed and you feel safe enough to try still, um, go ahead. Let's try that for a little bit. All right, let's step off that towel real quick. Okay. Look at that. We're going to do the straight leg raise. Well, we'll actually do a different one first. So let's get back on that chair. So what I want you folks to do or try to do is since we're here, we're gonna do one leg at a time. So I'm gonna do my right leg first. So I'm leaning back, feeling stable. 
gonna elevate my right leg, keep it out. Then I'm just gonna do some circles clockwise, okay? And we're just really trying to work on that hip mobility. Okay, so if you guys know how the the leg attaches to the hip, it's the, the femur attaches, and the femur almost looks like a, let's reverse, change directions. The femur almost looks like a hammer. And imagine that head of the hammer, the wider part where it usually hits stuff with is in the little socket. Okay, so that's what we're working at right now. We're making sure that joint is nice and smooth. All right, bring that leg down to get a little bit tired. All right, left leg straight. Let's do clockwise circles. Nice switch directions. All right, very good. Relax. Get some water. Let me show you my workout here. Okay, so let's get down to the floor. So if you guys have a yoga mat, let's bring it down to the floor. If you don't and you have carpet, that's okay. If you don't have either, you could grab a towel. So for this one, uh, we're laying on our back. And almost like we just sit right now with the chair. Um, we're not gonna be doing circles, but just lifting up and down, okay? We're not going to let our heel touch the ground. We're just going to control it. Can you guys see that? Maybe you guys can back up. Okay, so let's do 30 seconds on each leg. Remember, try to avoid touching the ground with your heel. Before it makes contact, lift it up. And let's switch legs. Left leg. Let's do a couple more. And relax. All right. Here, a little bit of water. We're going to stay on the floor right now as well for this next one. So the next one's going to be the Jane Fonda. So laying down Jane Fonda. If you guys happen to have a dumbbell, something light, um, right now would be a good one to use this one for. If you don't, it's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world. So what we're going to do is laying on our side. Since I have a light dumbbell here, I'm gonna put it off to my side. I believe we did this one yesterday. And we're just gonna elevate the leg in the same motion, but instead of going up and down, um, I mean, I'm sorry, bringing our toes um, down and up, we're bringing the left side of our heel up and down, yeah. So we're just resting. And again, avoid making contact with your foot that's resting on the floor. Before it does that, make sure you lift it up. Again, this is working out our hip joint, also our glutes, and our abductors. All right, let's switch legs. That left side. Thank you. 
Okay, quick water break. Again, if you need me to email you the workout, um, please type it in into the chat right now. I'm going to take some screenshots of it. So in case my internet goes down, um, I still have you guys this information that you guys wanted to video. So very cool. All right, make sure you guys have your water. Alrighty, so let's go on to set number two. All right, so for set number two, we're gonna go with the tandem stance. Okay, so we're gonna do the right leg first. So set number two, let me adjust this because I feel like it's cutting off my head. Okay, so set number two, we're gonna have my right foot or your right foot in front of that left foot. And again, we're just gonna stand here. Okay, we're gonna balance a little bit. Stay here. Again, we do want to work on our balance. So, you know, um, we kind of want to inhibit those stands that are going to make us easy to stand. So we do want to work on you know, those little um, muscles that are being activated right now as we're standing. So try to focus on those. And remember when we do have our eyes closed, it does get, it could be a little bit unsafe if you're not comfortable with it. So make sure you're holding on to something. So we're gonna close our eyes in three, two, one. Let's close those eyes. Remember, try to counter, be conscious, and counter that leaning. And before you tip over, please open your eyes and Correct yourself, protect yourself. I don't want to see anyone getting hurt while exercising. All right, let's open those eyes. Right, let's relax. So I don't know if you guys felt anything. I felt like my left calf on my backside was working a little bit from preventing that shaking. Are any of you guys feeling that as well or any other like weird sensation? All right, so we're gonna do, last week we did front um, diagonal um, lunges. Today we're gonna do a reverse. So pretty much what that is, again, visualize you're in the center of an actual clock and you know behind us would be six o'clock, in front of us would be 12 o'clock. Right now we wanna go to like five o'clock, okay, with this reverse lunge. So with my right leg, reverse lunge to the side, back, and then with my left leg, I wanna go to like seven o'clock. So we're alternating, okay? So let's do that. Let's do 10 on each leg. So again, we're not going directly back. Again, putting our body at an angle. It's gonna work on those different areas that our joints are made to move. Keep yourself safe. If we have knee pain, let's just go as far low as we can without, you know, causing any pain to happen. We have a couple more. Very good. All right, relax. If you guys need some assistance, let's go up to a wall and just hold very gently. And again, it's just more for safety. So we're gonna do some heel raises, which is essentially a calf raise too. So let's go ahead 
If you can, I want you to do, if you're using both your feet at the same time, do 20 of them with the slight hold and drop those. And then if you wanna do one leg at a time, so how you would do that is lifting, maybe for working on the left leg, lift that right leg and then hold and then drop, okay? So if you're doing one leg at a time, let's do 12 on each side. And if we're doing two legs at a time, then let's just aim for 25 with the two second hold, okay? Ready? Okay, go. So I'm gonna go with the one second. One, two, drop, up. Let's continue until we do 12 of these or 25 of the double heel raises. Again, I'm holding on to the wall just so I don't tip over off to the side. This one isn't so much of a balanced one, um, but we want to focus on getting that stretch correctly. Pass will probably start getting more. That's one more on that left side. Okay. We're doing singles. Let's go to that right leg. We've done quite a bit already for our calf muscles, which is good. Sometimes that's one of the harder muscles in our body to work out, just because we're limited in the movements we can do with it. more. Last one. Hold it and drop. Very good. These calves are probably pulsating right now. All right, so we're going to continue with the, the tandem stance right now, but now we're going to be doing so again, right leg in front of our left. Ready. See, okay, so now we're going to do left, left and right, okay? Make sure you're looking left to your right. This one requires a little bit more engagement. And now up and down. All right, now let's grab that rag. Let's fold it a couple times and do the same stance on it. So I have a really small rag. So only on my left foot, only my toes are on it. And on my right foot, only half of my foot is on it. So different parts of your body are going to be, or your feet are going to be elevated. Right now, so. All right, very good. Some water, set number two for you. Oh, actually we have one more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Got ahead of myself. We have the bridge march, okay? After that, we have a little break. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> All right, so all we're gonna do is like a sit-up position, but we're gonna bring, well, actually we're gonna lift our hips off the ground like a bridge. 
and we're gonna alternate legs lifting, okay? The entire time our hips are off the ground. We're gonna do 10 on each side, so go ahead. Grab our hands up to the side. more on each leg. Last one. All right, now let's keep those hips off, up, elevated. Let's just hold this just for extra credit. Let's try to hold for 20 seconds. Really squeeze those glutes. All right, relax, drop those hips down, and now you get your water break. Sorry about that. All right, very good. Get your water break. Alrighty. Woo. All right, so this one, yeah, definitely our lower legs. I feel like our hips, our calves, and our ankle are getting a good workout right now. All right, so now we're gonna do tandem stance, but now we're gonna have our left foot in front of our right foot. Okay, so once we're ready, go ahead and start. Eyes are open, left foot in front of our right. We're still making contact, so make sure you don't have a gap in between your feet. They should be, your left heel should be making contact with your right toes. All right, let's close our eyes. This is where we're working on those little adjustments. You're almost gripping the floor with your arches. Walk down to the floor. Let's try to push down on the floor. It's a little bit more safe. Oh, taking over. All right, let's open those eyes. All right, very good. Okay, we're gonna go with the clamshells. So, again, I believe we did these yesterday. So, if you have a dumbbell, go ahead and grab it. A dumbbell, even a heavy book, you know, a heavy object could do. So again, the clamshell. Oh, the camera's a little on my head. Okay. Clamshells, remember for these, ankle on ankle, knee on knee, hip above hip. Remember resting. If you have that object, place it over that right hip. And then we're just going to separate at the knee as high as we can. Hold for about two seconds or three, then drop that. We're gonna do 10 on each leg. Make sure you're holding.
more. It's always close to the hour mark that we lose some folks. And there's another class or maybe they're doing these workouts during their lunch break. Good, anyways. All right, switch the sides. You're there, All right? Ten on each leg. Again with the three second hold up top. more. Last one. Good. All right, let's put that down below. Right? And then probably, um, if you guys want to get ahead of the game a little bit, um, I probably will be asking for you guys, if you guys could find a golf ball or a tennis ball, I want to roll out our arches a little bit more. We won't do that today, but for next week, that's something that, um, you know, maybe I'll, I'll mention on an email for you guys to look forward. So we could roll out our arches in case we have some scar tissue there. And, um, you know, just any aches, maybe some plantar fasciitis in the past. That's something that we might want to work out later on. So, okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our chair once more. So for this one will probably be easier if you're barefoot and probably even not wearing socks too. It's gonna activate our toes a little bit more. So, okay, so if you guys see my towel here, so pretty much what I wanna do, if you guys are, are watching, is with my toes, I wanna grip and lift and drop and then try to separate it again, okay? Try to almost like placing it, stretching it out, and then grip and lift and so forth and just separating. Okay, so the main idea is to grasp with our toes, which, you know, there's tendons at the bottom of our feet. It's working those. And then the pushing out, adjusting and fixing the towel is kind of working the opposite direction, okay? So let's do maybe five to eight of them on each one. Some of us might be a little bit faster than others. Maybe someone walks barefoot all the time so this is just you know fun for you but um again let's just try this five to eight of them so five closing lifting dropping and then separating okay so doing that um sequence would be one so let's try maybe five to eight of those on each foot okay so go ahead this is uh, probably one of the go-to um exercises that when I worked at a physical therapy office and people with ankle injuries or tendonitis of the feet, this is probably one of them that we had them do almost every day. It's really good for our arches. So my fourth sequence right now. Try one more and then move on to the next opposite foot, left foot. Okay. And just like our dominant size, you might find it a little bit more challenging to kind of grasp the towel. I'm seeing like I'm doing more moving of the ankles than actually grasping with my toes on this one. And I can't grip this hard. The left foot's definitely more challenging for me. I feel like my right foot is like the claw of an eagle. And then my left foot is like a duck's foot. <laughs> like I can't grab anything with it. I'm pretty flat-footed too, so I should be doing these more. 
that just keeps slipping off my left foot. Okay, let's try one more, last one. Great, all right, let's clean that up. Say it's not too dirty. And if you guys are safe, you could do possibly the remainder of the workout with, um, you know, barefoot. But if you'd rather put your socks on, that's okay too. All right. How'd that feel, Debbie? A little strange? Yeah, that feels good. I'm left foot um, helpless, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, I, I never really felt that, but yeah, it's, you know, I felt like this right foot was like just grasping and this one just more like struggling. Yeah. So yeah, we got to work on those things. So great. All right, let's move on. So now we have, we have our time stamps. So left foot in front of our right. And now we're going to be looking left to right. Okay. So left to right. Left foot in front of our right. Right, up and down. All right, uneven surface. So let's fold that little rag. Probably the one we just had. Let's fold it a few times. Again, okay, maybe just our toes from our right foot and our heel from our left foot. I'm just gonna stand on it, a little uneven surface. All right, let's hop off it. Let's move that. For this one, we're gonna do um, foot grip. So for this one, what I want you guys to do, just standing, um, maybe focus on the right foot and almost just try to grip your the floor with your toes, okay? So we're just essentially pulling back our toes towards our heels. That's the movement we're going for. And if you could even consider bringing your arches just inward. So almost try to bring the forefoot part of your foot back towards your heels without scrunching your toes. You could picture that. So I'll try to visualize that for you guys. So your toes would be if I say bring your, your toes to your heels, it would be something more like this, like grabbing the floor. But if you're trying to visualize and doing the metatarsals, which is where your toes attach to your foot, it's more like this. Okay, so if you see how this part comes up a little bit more. So that's what we're trying to do right now. So let's try that movement with our left foot. So again, try not to bring your toes so much, but more of like your, your metatarsals. So still arching that toe or that foot, I'm sorry but by actually arching your arches and not by pulling back your toes. I know it's kind of weird or a different sensation movement that you've probably tried before, but by doing that, it's just you know allowing us to engage just in our arches. Hopefully there's no tingling going on. All right, let's relax. Okay. So this next one, we're gonna do it's a new one. Um, we did, I believe we did single leg squats yesterday where we held on to something to like the wall. 
we kind of did this motion here. So now we're going to do a single leg RDL. So it's pretty much a single leg Russian deadlift. And a Russian deadlift is pretty much if you had, so this would be a Russian deadlift here. So if I have a heavy weight and I'm just laying down slowly and then I'm lifting back up. So it's a hamstring stretch. So a single one, we don't have to have weight. But I'm going to use the edge of my bed here. If you have a chair or a table, you could do that. So a single leg, we're pretty much trying to do the same motion, but on one leg. Okay, without any weight, I'm just coming back up. Working on our balance too. My hand being on the bed makes me feel safe. And then we want to do it slower, the better. Okay, this is for our hamstrings. And meanwhile, we're keeping our back straight the entire time. Okay, so let's do 10 of these. And I'm not letting go of this bed. If you want to, if you feel really trust your, your um, legs and your balance, then go for it. Remember, keeping that back straight, we're trying not to arch that back too much. Can't go very far, um, then just you know, as long as you're feeling that stretch, we're doing some some work there. All right, once you're done, let's switch. Now we're gonna do the left side or the left leg, elevate my right leg, and just kind of bring that down. Just a couple more. Single leg Russian deadlift. Not sure why the name is, but I do a Russian and then I'm not sure. And right, last one. Very good. All right, so you guys, that definitely activates the hamstring. That's the one we're working at. That's a new one that we've done. Okay, let's take a little bit of break and some water. We have one regular set left, then one smaller set after that, and we should be good to go and watch that video afterwards. Right. This one we kind of did on the warm up. We did the quad stretch. So for that one, you know, if you guys do have your chair, just you go get it. Again, just for balance. So again, um, I'm only gonna have the chair here just for a safety net. I'm not really gonna try to depend on it too much. So let's go grab that right ankle right above it. Then stretch it out, pull back. My hands are just hovering over the chair in case I do need it. I'm not gonna try to depend too much on it. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you guys to close your eyes. So now you might want to hold on to that chair lightly. Okay. Have those eyes closed. I feel that left ankle just shaking. So again, just keep engaged. Have that hand close to that chair. Don't want anyone getting hurt. Engage, activate those little muscles left and right. Counter every adjustment. All right, open your eyes. All right, let's drop that leg down. Let's switch legs. All right, so let's go ahead and stretch out that quad first. Eyes open. Just hover your hand above that chair or lightly. Same one fall. Okay, let's close those eyes. Right, 
let's open those eyes and slowly let's drop that leg down. All right, very good. It's a nice stretch. Working on our balance for sure. A little bit more independent. Right there. Okay. One side kick. All right, so now we're gonna do the squat side kick. So this one, it's more of a, so essentially what it is, I squat down and as we come up, I want you guys to lift that right leg, okay? If you guys have a dumbbell, I'm gonna hold it up here. That's fine, but we're just looking for that range of motion. So let's just try to do, do the right leg first. So again, squat, sumo squat, and then to the right, okay? So let's do 10 to 12 of these. So it's more like a, I know it's called the leg side kick, but it's more like a, a leg lift. Almost like the Jane Fonda that we're doing laying down. She's essentially working out that same muscle group. But the squat's gonna work out our glutes a little bit more and our hamstrings. You're gonna do 15, go for 15. I think I'm already past that. All right, rest. Take out the legs. All right, ready? Left leg, ready to squat. Okay, here we go. Leg lift. So 12 to 15 this time. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. Bonds are burning. All right, I think we're gonna combine the last two sets together. So, okay. This one's gonna work on our angle mobility a little bit. So again, we've done it before, maybe on the first session. So imagine the line on the floor and we're gonna do um, line, leg over the line pretty much. So you could pick the right leg or the left one. And then essentially we're just gonna go back and forth. Okay, so back and forth over that line, that imaginary line, okay? You guys ready? We're gonna do that for 15 to 20 seconds, okay? If you don't feel safe doing it, you know, opt out of it. But if you can, let's try to do it. And if you feel a little bit safer doing both legs at the same time, we could do that too, okay? So. We'll just do that twice. Ready, left leg first or both. All right, okay, go. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Check it out. Right leg. Or a second set of both feet together. Oh, that's something on my foot. Ready? Right leg. Okay, go. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, very good. All right, the last one that we're gonna do with, that we're, the rest of them are gonna be on the floor pretty much, but this is the last one. And we're gonna use the wall, so we're gonna do a wall sit with the leg elevation or leg march. So if you, if you feel good, I want you to alternate lifting your leg straight. And if that's too much, I just want you to march as we're sitting down, okay? Ready, 30 seconds, okay, go. Halfway there.
Three, two, one, time. Whew, very good. All right, let me just check the chat. You guys could drink some water. All right. Right, so we have one. We have two more movements. All right. Ooh, you guys ready? So we're gonna do the quadruped one. So we're gonna be on our fours. So we're gonna alternate. So we've done this one before. So left leg comes out straight, or right leg comes out straight. And then left arm goes up. We're gonna hold this, try to stay for a straight line for about two seconds. And then we're gonna alternate sides, okay? So we're gonna do that. Uh, let's go for eight on each side, okay? Remember to hold. If you can't hold uh, for two seconds, great. If you can't and you're just alternating, that's okay too. But let's try to hold if you can. You ready? Eight on each side. Okay, you go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So the last four, let's try to hold for three seconds. Okay, now for three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Three. Should feel that back. One, two, three. Last one. Let's hold for five seconds. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, good. Very good. All right, good job. All right, last one. And then we'll start with the cool down and then the short video. Okay, so the last one. Very similar to the position we were at right now, pretty much combining this one with the one we were sitting down and rotating the leg. So pretty much what it's gonna look like is I'm gonna be one leg out and then I'm just making circles with it, okay? So let's go and do maybe eight circles clockwise with the right leg, rest, then counterclockwise with the same leg and then we'll switch sides. You ready? So. On our fours, right leg out, back, and then eight circles clockwise. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight. Rest that leg. All right, lift it again. Straight back and clockwise, counterclockwise. Eight circles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. All right, rest those legs. Lift your arms a little bit. A little tired, being in that position. All right, now we're gonna do the last one here. It's gonna be our left leg, okay? Ready? Bring that leg out straight. Eight circles clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Good job. Yeah, that one, again, it's not a movement we do very often, but yeah, we're going to do that one. So, all right, very good. Let's just stretch a couple minutes. And then I have, like I said, the video I have for you guys, it's just about two minutes long. So, not very long at all. So, let's just cool down, stretch a little bit, and then. Video is optional for you guys, but hopefully you guys decide to stick around. Let's bring that left heel in. Bring my water nearby. Right leg back. Let's move forward. 
beginning, if any of you, I know Rofani, you probably know a lot of stretches, but if there's something um, that you guys want to see or maybe add into our, our cool down routine, I'm more than welcome to, you know, um, you know, any, anything that you guys have to offer. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, we could keep it like this. But I know there's some stretches that you guys might not feel. Let's switch. Okay, so sometimes we have some folks that just do the warm up and the cool down for the classes. Maybe our fitness isn't there yet with that, or you know we're just beginning. Um, but anything that you know to improve our health and fitness is is good. All right, we're gonna do the Hollywood stretch. So we're gonna cross over, left leg over right, and then turn off to the side. So Leah, I was doing some quick research and I, I think this stretch here that we're doing right now was actually on, on one of like several lists of um, sci sciatic nerve stretches. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if you, you're feeling it on this one, but this is one, but I'm still working on that list to go it a little bit more. Let's switch. Let's do the thirty four. So let's bring that left heel in. And this time we're not going to reach with our back arm. We're just going to focus on stretching that calf out since we were focusing on it quite a bit today. So really try to lean forward. Bring that hamstring and calf stretch out. Okay, the switch. Right heel comes in. Leaning. Kind of proud. I, I wasn't able to. I mean, I could touch my toes with my hands with this stretch, but now I feel like I'm touching like halfway down the bottom part of my foot with it. So, um, yeah, this is, I think all this stretching, the flexibility and mobility classes are helping, myself included. Do the butterfly stretch, so both heels come in now. And I've seen variations of this one too, so you could press down on your knees with your elbows, or you could almost try to bring in your ankles close to your, your groin area as close as possible too, but I think I like the pushing down of the knees a little bit more. I feel it more there with this one. And some people bring, you know, kind of wrap their hands around both the feet and lift those toes towards the midline, but I think, yeah, still, I feel it more by pressing down. Right. So from this position, let's try a new one. So same position, but now let's lean back. Okay, hold it here, same position. All right, let's reset. And then now let's cross those legs and then let's lean forward. Okay. Really trying to bring that chest towards the floor. Remember cardio and core tomorrow at 9 a.m. And that's pretty much our, our class that, you know, we tend to select the most out of these four classes. All right, let's relax. Let's bring, reset, heel in, left heel in, right leg back. Now we're leaning back. 
Again, I see some of you every day. You know, I really do appreciate you guys for coming, joining in every day. And if you guys could continue that, you know, better for all of us. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these classes. Like I said, if you guys can't make the classes, but still wish to do them, um, you know, just drop in when we're live, leave your email and I'll offer that the video for you guys. All right, let's get started. Hamstring stretch, last one before we do our video. So, crab walk position, right leg over that left knee, elevated glute, bring that chest to that right knee. Just really feel that stretch in the right hamstring, lateral side. Switch. All right, and let's relax. All right, great. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording for those of you guys at home. Thank you for doing the workout. Um, and then you guys that are in class.